Okay, I'm going to start on my rant at quit being a garden bug terrorist. I was watching a video today and I was outraged. But I'm outraged on a lot of gardening videos now because the Western culture is doing something that's unsustainable. We've done so much horrible stuff as far as gardening and food production. We overproduced the earth. We raped the soil so that it couldn't produce any more. And now in our home gardens that are full of concrete, you know, which means that less area to, to plant food, less area to collect water and groundwater and stuff like that that we need to sustain. And the last thing is urban gardeners are running around taking neem oil, which is a systemic toxin and birth control, killing off the last, the, the, the last of the survivors in the garden, killing off the ecosystem. And that the natural result is famine. So I want to show you this. Bugs that we don't like in my garden and the fact that I have food. These are the seeds of my parsnip. That's a lot of parsnip right there. That one section is a lot of parsnip. But after I got that amount of seeds from my garden, this uh, infestation of these little disgusting bugs came into the garden. At that point, I could have sprayed neem oil and killed these bugs. I could have done that. The natural Western philosophy is to be selfish, to say, this is my garden. I planted it. Nothing will exist here without my permission, and I have the authority to kill it. Well, if you look right there, you'll see a little colony of ladybugs next to a ant. The ant's the one putting all the bugs there. You see these little happy ladybugs. They exist here because there's a lot of food here. That is why they are just hanging out, eating the food. You guys want ladybugs, but you don't want them to have any food. That's not sustainable. And when we in the garden do unsustainable things, that creates famine. One of the largest unsustainable things that's done in the modern, modern garden is killing bees and wasps. Bees and wasps are the reason why all these seeds are here. I don't need these seeds. These seeds are for the birds to eat. They're to be spread around the world and to make parsnips, which is what I eat. You see all these parsnips I have? I obviously have an abundance of parsnips. Look at all the parsnip seeds I have there. That would not be a sustainable amount of parsnips in my own garden and probably not in the area around me. So God made a conscious area to send creatures here who can eat the food. That one little brown area there of, of productive seeds, that's more than enough for me. I mean, if I could grow a hundred parsnips, I would be elated and it would require a lot of effort and fertilizer in my current garden. So this is a conscious effort on the part of nature to take the excess and the bounty and feed something else. I don't even know the other creatures that are feeding off of these creatures. I mean, as you can see, the ladybugs are ecstatic. They are planting, I don't know what a, a ladybug um, larva looks like, but they have to be somewhere. And I know this is one of the plants that they do plant on. This is one of the things that they feed and grow on. And you see a lot of them. But if you are a bug terrorist and you come in and start killing stuff in your ignorance, you wouldn't have the ladybugs. Grow your own ladybugs. Feed your own ladybugs. Quit killing stuff in the garden. It's not sustainable. I'm telling you right now, I've watched all these large gardening channels where they act like neem is organic. Um, there's a lot of organic poisons that can kill animals and people. 
there's a lot of organic toxins like for instance this plant here is organic I can't eat it it's, it's, it's poisonous please quit confusing organic with healthy the healthiest thing we can do is to understand that we have created a huge imbalance in nature and that imbalance has to be corrected and these creatures that to our eye is disgusting if somebody came into my garden they would say I won't eat food from her garden because she's got those nasty looking insects and I know I'm not supposed to eat those it's true we're not supposed to eat these this isn't our food but look at all the creatures that are in that space and enjoying that food it's their bounty and because of their bounty I have more than enough parsnip seeds right there that are actually fertile and healthy and will grow better than any parsnip seeds I can get at a store these parsnips will give me a ton of parsnips I'm gonna have an abundance of parsnips and um, I'm thinking during the winter and parsnips are no water plants for me I do not have to water parsnips they will grow when the winter rains come in Southern California therefore they are a famine food they will die back in drought and they will come back when the next winter rains come and they will be able to produce their seed from their own water supply which is the actual parsnip root is a water supply for the parsnip plant so it it works for me please quit being a bug terrorist I hope that seeing nature work and understanding what goes on understanding that this is the butterfly that this is the this creatures the ladybugs food and we are destroying it or maybe it's the ladybug eggs I don't know and it doesn't matter I don't need this this is not for me quit being selfish gardeners quit putting systemic toxins in your garden so there is no safe place you want to go out and buy ladybugs if you don't have something like this in your garden you're wasting your money they can't grow in a garden of neem and spraying it in the morning they tell you to spray it in the morning these people are having to use electric toothbrushes to fertilize their plants because they're killing everything okay they don't tell you that they have to grow in pots because their soil is deadly and I want to tell you that in India we uh, exported our Western way of gardening for food and within a short period of time their soil had been over harvested they had um, produced our pristine plants with no bug bites no bugs and all that what we think of as healthy and they began to starve and some of them started to commit suicide in India because they started getting cancers and stuff from our way of gardening which is to destroy nature and fight with nature to bring it back into nature to get back to what is appropriate we have to go through growing pains we have to go grow through imbalance and we have to accept scientifically that we may not know what's going on in the garden um, I had a bunch of bees over here I don't have any bees now probably somebody in my neighborhood used some kind of poison and killed the bees and wasps so this is all the food I'm gonna get when there is a famine and it's coming because 20 years ago we didn't have homelessness in the United States of America now we have a homelessness epidemic we didn't have um, a disease plague in the United States of America now we have every plague and including leprosy the next step in that equation is famine so quit using pesticide including organic ones quit using neem oil in your garden right now go through the growing pains let all the bugs that come to your garden go if you don't get a harvest this year because the bugs eat everything grow more next year grow a, a larger variety of things next year quit thinking about what you think you want learn how to survive 
like these animals are trying to survive. Make a place for everything to survive, and in turn, you will find that you have what you need to survive. I'm telling you, a time's coming when your money will be worthless. There will be no food in the grocery store. May or may not have water in the grocery store. And the little preparation you've made will have to sustain you until we get to the next stage. The most critical thing you can do now is when you grow organic, when you grow in your garden organically, do not use neem oil. Do not use any kind of soaps or oils in your garden space. If animals or insects come in your garden and eat that plant, next year's plants will be stronger for the fight. And we need that to get through a famine. If you have weak, coddled plants in your garden, they will not ever be strong enough to deal with hardship. Make sure there's a struggle in your garden to survive so that the strong survive.